All right, so I'm gonna explain as quickly as I can what uh, torque is. So um, torque can be measured in, in feet. It's usually, it's measured in distance. So um, most things are labeled by foot pounds of torque. So this little impact wrench is rated for 225 foot pounds of nut busting torque. So that means, this is, I'm gonna explain what that means here. So um, when you put this onto a lug nut, if you were to put 10 pounds on the end of that handle and it would push it down, that would be 10 foot pounds of torque. Okay, so it's always, it's measured in, in most cases it's measured in one foot. So if you put 20 pounds on that, it would be 20 foot pounds of torque uh, and et cetera, et cetera. Isn't that simple? That's all it is. It's just, and this one is the equivalent. This little machine here is the equivalent to um, 225 foot pounds. Uh, it's a rigid brushless subcompact. I just got it. Uh, it's just good to have. I mean, if you're t if you're changing out tires, um, and it's a great little thing. Most truck tires are um, torqued at 100 foot pounds. So when you go to a dealership, they're going to, if you're doing like a tire change or if they're doing a tire rotation, then they'll take your tire off and they'll put it back on. And when they put it on, they um, they put 140 pounds of force. They have something called the torque wrench and it measures how much force you push down on the lug nut. And this truck is rated for 140 pounds. So um, I thought this would be a good little buy. So this is, this is it. I don't know, like sometimes they over torque them in the dealership, but anyway, I'll give it a shot and try it out. It's 140, this is rated at 225. tool but that's how that's how torque works so hopefully that's easy to understand because i was looking around and like there was a lot of complicated stuff on youtube but hopefully that simplifies things so yeah as long as you know it's uh at one foot it's how much weight is pushed down on the vehicle so uh or how much weight is pushed down on the handle on the end of that uh breaker bar or wrench that you're using uh, now for horsepower, um, just quickly, I'll go over this. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert in, in this by any means, but I'm going to explain this too. So trucks, let's say for example, you have 300 horsepower and you have 250 pounds, foot pounds of torque. That's your, that's your vehicle spec. Well, 300 pounds, you might, you've got to imagine there'd be 300 horses pulling your vehicle. That's what that literally, what that means is, and 250 foot pounds of torque is um, is basically the size of the horse. So if you have a, now I know horses weigh more than that. That's, that's obvious. However, um, I'm just kind of giving you a kind of a simplified example. So if you have uh, 300 horses and they all weigh 250 pounds, you know, uh, now, if you have 300 horsepower and there's 450 foot pounds of torque, that would be like they weigh 450 pounds. Um, they all, obviously, the ones that weigh 450, 450 foot pounds, they're going to kind of jerk you off that start line. And, uh, you know, you got to hold on to your seat. But if it's, if they only weigh 200 pounds, they'll still kind of jerk you up a little bit. But, you know, it won't be such a torque because torque is a twisting motion. You won't quite have to hold on to your seat. Um, so, so yeah, I hope that kind of explains it. And now, just quickly, uh, one other thing is that the, the torque, uh, the, let's say for example, in the 450 foot pound torque, um, you're going to have a lot of, uh, get up and go. Like you're, you're going to be faster off the line because obviously your horse is more powerful and it's going to just run you off that line. 
Whereas the 200 foot pound of torque, the, the horse that only weighs 200 pounds, it's gonna take you, it's gonna get you off that line, but it's just gonna take you a little bit uh, slower. So, um, yeah, that's basic, That's the basics of it. I hope that helps somebody. Um, and yeah, I know it's simplified and I know there's low end torque and high end torque, but I just wanted to explain it in simple terms. If you wanna learn further into it, then go ahead, but uh, obviously, but uh, anyway, that's how I understood it. Maybe that can help you understand it too. Okay, that's all for now.